If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try the question on your own before listening on. What we're going to do first is draw a picture of the two trains as they approach each other. So we have the red train moving to the right with a velocity of positive 72 kilometers per hour. The green train is moving to the left with a initial velocity of negative 144 kilometers per hour. Note the negative sign because it is initially traveling to the left. We need to convert these kilometers per hour into meters per second. And we can use the following two conversion factors. You'll notice that the kilometers will cancel out, the hours will also cancel out, and that will leave us with meters per second. And performing the conversion gives us positive 20 meters per second and negative 40 meters per second for the red and green train, respectively. Now, we are also told the accelerations of the trains. They are each one meter per second squared. Notice that the acceleration of the red train will have to be negative one meter per second squared because in order to stop it, it needs to be accelerated in the reverse direction. The acceleration of the green train will be positive one meter per second squared for the same reason. It's initially moving to the left. We therefore have to accelerate it to the right in order to stop it and that would give us a positive acceleration. Now our strategy will be as follows. What we want to do is calculate how far each train must travel in order to stop. And when we stop, that means the final velocity, of course, is zero meters per second. Now, to do that, we can use the following equation from kinematics. We're going to be solving for delta x, the displacement. And to begin to do that, we can subtract v naught squared from both sides of the equation. We will then divide both sides of the equation by 2a. So we will next plug in the known values for the final velocity, initial velocity, and acceleration for the red train. Note again that we're using zero for the final velocity. When we compute this, we get 200 meters. So that's how far the red train will travel in order to come to rest, in order to stop. We'll do the same thing now for the green train. We'll use this formula to find how far it travels to stop. Now when we compute this, we get negative 800 meters. It's negative, of course, because the green train is traveling to the left, so it should have a negative displacement. Notice that 800 meters of distance and 200 meters of distance is a thousand meters. So there must be at least a thousand meters between the trains in order for them to both be able to stop. But there's only 950 meters between them according to the question. So the trains need a thousand meters to stop, but unfortunately there's only 950 meters between them. So they're not going to be able to stop. They will indeed collide. So yes, there will be a collision in this situation. Now to figure out the speeds of the trains at this collision, what we're going to do is we're going to realize that because the red train is moving slower, it would certainly stop first before the green train ever had a chance to do that. We figured out that when the red train stops, it has moved 200 meters. So we're going to take the red train and just move it up 200 meters. Let's now notice that the red train and the green train are 750 meters apart from one another. And how do we know that? Well, because the initial separation was 950 meters. So we know from here where the red train originally was all the way over to here was 950. But since the red train has moved forward by 200, they are now only 750 apart. So from this picture, we'll notice that the green train, since it's moving to the left, has to travel a displacement of negative 750 meters in order to get to the red train. So with all this information, we're going to be able to solve for the final velocity. We can use the equation from kinematics that looks like the following, and then we'll be able to plug in all the known values to find this final velocity. So we've plugged in all the known values. The right side of the equation becomes 100. So I'll come over here, running out of room. So we have v squared equals 100. And we square root both sides, of course, and we see that the final velocity is 10 meters per second. Technically, the final velocity is negative 10 meters per second because the train is moving to the left, but this only wants to give the speed of the train. So we can actually take off the negative sign and just call it 10 meters per second. So in short, the green train is moving at 10 meters per second. The red train, we recall, was stopped and its final velocity was zero meters per second. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel so you could stay tuned for additional videos. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen.